talk about tight trading medications, we have to think about what the purpose of the medication is. Typically, titration medications apply more to the critical care setting where we have some sort of a goal we want to achieve. And an example would be a blood pressure. So many times vasopressors such as dopamine or levofed are given in a certain titration order. And what that means is that we want to adjust the medication to a certain micrograms per minute ratio that we achieve a certain blood pressure, in this case for vasopressor. So the order might read, give dopamine two to 10 micrograms per kilo per minute to achieve a systolic blood pressure greater than 90 millimeters of mercury. That would be an order. And so what we'll do is we'll start the patient usually on the lowest dose of that titration range. And then we check the blood pressure. A few minutes later, because it's a continuous infusion, we'll see if we are in this range of the systolic blood pressure of 90. If we're not, we can titrate up. So that means we can go up to, let's say, four um, micrograms per kilo per minute, and then again, check the blood pressure. And the titration just gives us a little bit of wiggle room in order to achieve whatever goal it is that's needed. And these are usually very um, labile patients or in the critical care setting where a, a small dosage adjustment might make a big difference to achieve that goal of whatever that might be. Now, titration is mostly used for vasopressors, but can also be used, for example, as a heparin for blood thinning purposes. So then whatever we titrate it to would be the PT and INR of the patient's lab values. Head on over to YouTube to see the full video on dosage calculations and um, dimensional analysis.